Hello and welcome back to Farmer's Wife Homestead. I'm Stacy. if this is the first time we're meeting. And this is not my kitchen. <laughs> it's pretty clear to say. Um, welcome back to day 8 of Vlogmas. And today we are in another part of um, beautiful New Zealand, Aotearoa. And I spent the whole night on an overnight bus coming down to visit my grandchildren so mum and dad can go to a wedding. So today we are making a chocolate trifle. I've not made this before, I've, I've kind of made a version of this before but I'm just winging this one today. Um, so I've pre-assembled everything, I've made up some chocolate mousse, I have some flake which is chocolate that's all like crumbly and flaky. I wanted to have um, fresh cherries and I did see some up in the part of the country we are but they're not down here yet so I've got some frozen cherries. I have whipped up some whipped cream, no sugar. That's the chocolate mousse. I did three packets because I wasn't quite sure how much I would need and then I grabbed a beautiful little um, tub of straws and then the other thing is a chocolate um, sponge that has been unfilled and I've um, put raspberry uh, jam a layer of raspberry jam and I'm just going to roll it back up but I'll show you me doing that you can buy them that they have ready jammed but the ones that I could find only had um, fake cream, mock cream in them and that's not what I wanted, I wanted the jam side of things for this um, and then uh, my daughter's got a beautiful bowl, I'll just grab that beautiful trifle bowl and um, I make a traditional um, traditional trifle but I thought hmm might give a chocolate one a go and then when I looked it up on the on the internet there's lots of different variations of this um, some do it with um, chocolate brownie instead of chocolate sponge oh this bowl is a lot smaller than what I remember so probably going to have leftover um, leftovers of everything really but that's okay but that's it looks quite big on uh, I suppose it is a good size. Alright, so we'll put that in behind here. I'm going to need to give this a wash. And then we'll cut back down and assemble it. Alright, so this is the um, sponge. And it already came unfilled and rolled. Unfortunately, there's some splits in it, but that's okay. It's all going to get covered in cream and um, chocolate mousse. I'm rolling that back up. going to get a chopping board and we want to just cut this into um, rounds like that This um, sponge is very, very tender. It's actually falling apart on me. Um, and of course you can make all of these things yourself, but this is all about ease of making a quick dessert um, and buying pre-made. And I've filled with raspberry jam, but you could use any, any other jam you wish. I 
for or there's several other ways you can do this we could line um, the bowl with the sponge roll which is traditionally um, what I've done before but today I thought we might do layers I thought that might look quite pretty too So we're trying something new. And tomorrow we're going to be doing some coal baking with the kids and we asked them if they wanted to be filmed and they absolutely said yes, they would love that. So the next couple of days we've got some holiday baking. Okay, so I've got that ready. Now I'm going to strain the frozen um, cherries because I want the juice from it because I want um, some form of liquid to soak into that sponge. Um, so I'll just get a bowl. Be nice to have had the cherries for on, fresh cherries on top. You can use the frozen frozen in the middle anyway, but it would have been nice to have the fresh on the top, but that's okay. Use what we have. And I think I'm going to cut these in half. desserts that you serve um, during the holidays. Um, I've already showed you the pavlova. Do that and we do the trifle um, and I usually do like fresh fruit platters. Um, that's what we traditionally do. Oh there's actually a pip left in that one. Glad I found that and not my grandchildren. Um, so please tell me what uh, traditional desserts for you. Um, we're actually going to bake a couple of pies as well. So I will continue and just quickly do these and then we will assemble this quick trifle. layer down try and have it looking all the same broken so that's perfect size there and you want some of the um, most to go through the cracks anyway You can use ginger ale. Um, fruit juice. So now I'm going to put a layer 
layer of the cherries. Make sure you can see them. So you know what's in it. So just have some around the sides and evenly around the middle. That one's not in half. No, this is looking yum so far. Right, now the mousse. I'm going to put half into this layer. Completely winging this, <laughs> made this up on the spot, so we will just give this a whirl. And then I want a layer of cream. Just for the contrasting colours. And you're going to get your flake or shards of chocolate, whatever you've got. I'm just going to break that up. Open it up. And then I'm putting this for the texture. You want the texture of the, the chocolate through the middle. I've got one whole bar for this layer. going to just basically repeat. Sponge. Don't press down too much because you don't want to, you want to keep those layers. Okay, and then if you've got little, little gaps, just fill them in.
and you want some form of liquid so that the so it's not so dry but um, <laughs> we're fast running out of room And some more mousse. Probably have done two packets of mousse, but I've got a bigger bowl at home. So if it was if I was using that bowl from home, I would do. Um, I would use um, three. I'm just going to whip this cream up a little bit more. strawberries for that pop of red. <laughs> it's going to be funny trying to get a spoon into this, she's so full. I guarantee that this tastes better the next day. And I'm just going to scatter some quarters on the top. Mm, they smell delicious. Last one. There we go, guys. The ultimate chocolate trifle. Well, I hope it is. I am making it up on the spot. I would have liked to have had a little bit more um, cherry juice, but that's all right. What do you think? I think it looks pretty delicious can't wait to tuck into that ideally it's always better the next day but we'll give it a go tonight and um, I will let you know how it tastes um, on the next vlog all right this is editing Stacy and it is the next day and I can hand on my heart tell you that was the most delicious Oh, I'm, I'm hard pressed to say because I love the custard trifles but that was beyond beyond beautiful it was so so good so we had some for pudding and then 
I tried a little bit for my breakfast this morning, and so did Jasper. Jasper had like three bowls of it last night, and Jasper is has just turned three, my grandson. And um, anyway, it's just as good, if not better, the next day as I predicted it would be. You, ha well, you don't have to, <laughs> but seriously, it was amazing. So consider putting that into your rotation of special desserts to do. And it was so quick to make. The video was in real time. I've barely cut anything out and it was done and dusted. Um, yeah, so do try <laughs> because it was that good. Oh, hi, Nana. Oh, hi, that's that. Yeah. I'm talking to my friends up here. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna meet them shortly because we're gonna start baking. Actually, I'll let you know in the morning. <laughs> All right. Give this one a go. Thanks for um, joining me as always, and I hope you enjoyed this um, wee quick video on um, a chocolate trifle. And um, please let me know in the comments uh, what your desserts, your go-to desserts are for the holiday season. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe, and that would be awesome. And um, I'll see you on the next one, hopefully. Okay, bye.